Wow, wow, what a wow. Good morning, everybody. It's Vapix here from Subjugated Gaming, bringing you some more Horus Heresy Legions. Now, today or last night or whatever it is for my time, the new faction's Imperial Fists came out. So, we're going to go through card by card and give our first impressions on them. So, we're literally just going to dive straight into this ride. So, as you can see under the Loyalist tab here, they're bringing out the new through. So, the uh, Signalites, the Sisters of Silence, and Imperial Fists. So, we'll start with the Warlords, right? I think Warlords is a good place to start. So, they got their 30 health Warlord. Um, play put 2 energy, put in play a, a Garadon Squad initiative low. Now, the Garadon Squad is this guy. No, it's not that guy. Sorry, it's this one. Now, this card, you would never actually play in a deck, I don't believe. But a 2 energy put in play a 2-4, because Bastion 2, for anybody who doesn't know, Bastion, Bastion means absorb X damage except when attacking. So in any sort of defensive way, it's very good. So effectively, you're putting in play a 2-4, but it's basically deal 2 damage later, is what you've got to think about. It's similar to Vulcan's. He's got the 2-1 survival 1. Very similar to that, only it's worse, because if you attack the survival 1, doesn't trigger effectively so to me bad vulcan less health less everything you know it depends on obviously on the rest of the cards but i don't see this guy being very good at this stage we'll go to the 35 health warlord um pay one until your next turn deal two damage to enemies that attack your warlord now that's a sort of interesting comparison to um nematode's ability which is better effectively still the same cost gives you plus two and whenever they attack your troops, they're doing more damage, so there's that. But he also gets uh, Death's Champion, and if we look at um, Death's Champion... Two drop, your wall gains plus two and front line until your next turn. I mean, it's a nice guy, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to run him. Although, it might not be so bad either. Like, depending on the other cards, what they're going to do and stuff like that. He has potential, I believe. You know, for that one turn of giving yourself front line to not, so you, they can't, you can't attack the troops, so you can go off the following turn because a lot of their cards are about building a board state and getting more effects. So then we'll go to Dawn, right? So to give Bastion two to a friendly unit, this includes himself. So this ability can essentially be like heal two. That's what you got to think of it as is sort of like heal two, except when attacking. Now his reckoning is very unique um become he becomes the patron of terror My, uh, ma minus one cost for every trip you control at the start of your turn now that's pretty cool it means if you can flood the field and control stuff at the start of your turn it'll reduce if you can keep a trip or two on board for a bunch of turns it's good but you got to tick it down 20 times right so it'll be pretty hard to get if the opponent is staying on top of your board state but you know i see not too hard not too easy like it's i think it's hitting the middle ground but we'll see as we play the game after you do that, you become here. Obviously, you get the extra attack. You get your ability goes from pay two to give Bastion two to pay one, give Bastion three. Again, that's pretty good. Um, and you create a stone gauntlet in your hand. And I think that's this four drop here every turn. Each unit deals damage equal to its Bastion to a random enemy. So you think at least that for no regard to anything else, if you've got nothing else on board, you can give yourself Bastion three and play this and then deal three damage to a random enemy. Now, it is random damage, you know, but whatever, like, I like, I mean, it's nice, it's, I don't think it's game changing or anything, but if you can get a board state up again and have a bunch of stuff with Bastion, you're going to be dealing a lot of damage, so there's that. Alright, now if we go back down to here to one drops, one drop, one three, pay zero, give plus O plus two to a friendly structure. I don't see it being played, unfortunately. I know it's a pretty cool ability, but it's like a lot of the other ones that are, like, really slow. If you've got enough structures on field to have this card be useful, you're already winning the game. So, I don't think... It's a bit win more. But, from my look, all of these cards seem a bit win more. They're either going to do nothing, or they're going to snowball. Kind of like how, um... Dark Angels do it, where you get the, all the buffs off and play massive cards early, or you kind of, like, just stutter out. But we'll see. Shield Charge. Friendly unit deals damage equal to its Bastion to a random enemy. Like, cool, you can stack Bastion, but it's random. A lot of this sort of damage they've got is random, and I really don't like that. It takes a lot away from what they can do, I think, because random damage... It's just not reliable. It's random, 
And that's why so far I'm not liking that stuff. Now their counterattackers do. Give Bastion 2, Preemptive Heal 2. Good. They, I think that's fine. Go to 2 drops. Now this card, like I said, it's only in the faction so the other guy can spawn it. You would never play it in your actual deck. Especially how you've got this. This is a great 2 drop. <laughs> 2 drop 2-3. Two, pretty decent. And giving plus 1, plus 1 to a friendly troop. I think it's very good. I think it is a pretty excellent card that um, most of the decks might play two of. Like, we'll see in terms of fitting cards in, but in terms of two drops, quite good. This card, I love. Create a copy in your hand of the next troop you play this turn and reduce its cost by four. I think it's a cool card. I think, like, to be able to go, oh, I'm just going to um, play this, play Drilling Sight, then play my eight drop, ten drop, and have another one cheaper for next turn. Like, this combo with Drilling Sight will be very strong, I think. And then we've got um, the Recruit, 2-drop, 3-2. It's got Flank, so it, this will be played. Um, and it can pay 2 to gain Front Lice and Bastion 2. So, early game, oh shit, you've got something on field I need to kill, Flank it. Late game, um, I've got a 2-4 four for 4 with Front Line. Sorry, 3-4, that's not terrible. Like, the fact that it's got that other option makes it very strong. Preemptive Strike, you have Sneak Attack to a friendly... A start is this turn uh, to... If it drew you a card, I'd see it being played. But since it doesn't, I don't think it'll be played. Shield cover. Give Bastion 3 to a friendly unit. Draw a card. See? I see this card being played. Heal 3, draw a card. Unit. It goes on Waller. This is... Heal 3, draw a card for 2 energy. That's pretty goddamn good. Like, compare it to Phi Alpha, for example. Like, this card's great. This card will be played. Absolutely. Because 2 energy, draw a card. In terms of this game... Can't remember who said this first, but I absolutely agree. To draw a card, it costs two energy based off Horus's ability. So if you've got a card that costs two energy, draws you a card, and does another effect, it's a good card. This card's great. Heal three, draw a card for two. Uh, Death's Champion. Then we've got the Sentry Talent. Now, um, deal Relentless, deal two damage to a random enemy. This card in and of itself is pretty lame, but there's a lot of cards that spawn this in ones or twos. So... It'll be, yeah, just remember this card because a lot of cards do spawn it. Then we go to three drops. Fortification, Mastery. Put it in play. Two shield turrets. Now, this is cool if you can give your wall with front line. Otherwise, they're just going to swing at one. It's going to die because their ability is relentless to deal two. And again, the deal two is random. So, I don't know if this card will be played. If you can buff them and stuff like that, maybe. But we'll see. Fortified Outpost at 3, drop 2, 4, Resolution, trigger the Relentless abilities of your structures. Again, if you can keep those structures on field, and then play this, and it's, this is Resolution. So let's say you played this, right, and they didn't deal with them. They'll go off at the beginning of your turn, then they'll go off at the end of your turn, and it's got an ability to pay 1 to deal 3. So that's pretty cool. That's a lot of incidental damage. Two drop, two, 3, drop 2, 4, like, potential, potential here. Uh, architecture, give Bastion 3 to a structure, to your structure, this is all structures. I see this as maybe a one-off, otherwise there might be too many eggs in one basket, but the fact that it's all structures means that it might see play, we'll have to see. 3 drop 2, 3, front line, put in play 1 sentry turret. I like this card, definitely will be played. To be able to put a sentry turret behind a front line of a 3, very good, I like it. This card is amazing. Bastion 2, front line. And Rage, give Bastion 1 to all your units. It's all units, including itself. Which means that, like, let's say the Warlord smacks it. Gets rid of the Bastion. It's a 3-3 with Bastion 1. Smacks it again. It's a 3-2 with Bastion 1. Smacks it again. It's a 3-1 with Bastion 1. It's got to keep hitting it. Plus, it's giving Bastion 1 to units. That includes Warlords. Every time it gets damaged, it heals your Warlord for 1 effectively. Something to note about Bastion is if you attack... It does not negate your Bastion. If you've got Bastion 5, it does not take it away. It'll just deal the damage directly to your health. Then we've got uh, this guy. Uh, Sergeant Ty... Talias... Whatever. And two, 3 drop 2, 4. Give Bastion 2 to a friendly Astartes. The fact that it's required for Astartes, and these guys seem very structure-based. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Like, there is another card that means that you could play this, these guys in structure or in Astartes, and we'll get to it. But... Um, Meh, there's better stuff in the three drop section, being these two and this and stuff like that. I don't think it'll be played very often. Deal two damage to a random enemy. Repeat this effect for each friendly structure in play. Random enemy. Random. It should be. Deal two damage plus one for every structure you have in play to a to a target. Come on, stop with the random. The ra there's too much random. Like I get it's good against like things with ward or stuff like that, but otherwise, just just let me target. 
Uh, four drop, four, four, put in play our garden squad. Now it's a zero, so maybe this will be played, like being able to put in one of those, but I think there are better options in here that it won't see play. Uh, Disciple, uh, Discipline Fire, deal four damage to an enemy troop and stun it. Now, I think this will be played because it's direct damage you can target something. It's something that they sorely need, and this card does it. So I think, like, being able to deal four damage to the enemy warlord and stun it, not bad. Like, potential. Like, potential. Four drop, three, four. Rally gain plus one, plus one for every other friendly troop in play. It could be really big at late game if you can jam a bunch of stuff on field, especially with, uh, there's a certain card that puts in a, that uh, puts in a bunch of stuff, but maybe, I'm pretty sure this will be played, because it can get very big very quickly, you know, if you can just jam out a bunch of troops, and then go bang, you know, especially if you're playing, um, uh, tact uh, drilling site, to be able to play on turn six, play a four drop, then play this or whatever, because I'm pretty sure there's a four drop that spawns out sentry turrets. This card's pretty good. I like this card. Frontline stun enemies that attack this trip. It can sit there. You stack Bastion on it. If they want to get rid of it, they're getting stunned. And they're getting overstunned. So, this card will definitely see play. Uh, 4 drop 3, 3 Bastion 2. So, effectively add the Bastion to their health. 4 drop 3, 5. Pay 2 to deal 3 damage. Meh. I don't think so. Um, 4 drop. Your wallet gains resolution. Give Bastion 1 to your troops. It's resolution is the only reason why I think this might see play. The fact that you can have this on your wallet, play a trip, it'll get it instantly. Maybe. Like, for the longer game, maybe. But it'll probably clog in your hand, so people should only play one, I believe. Uh, we looked at Stone Gauntlet before. And Void Move is stun one random enemy for every troop you control. I think this is too many eggs in one basket. This requires you to have a full board in order to do it. So, I don't think so. Maybe as a one-of. I don't know. This card is amazing. Rally, give plus two, plus two to your other... Astartes, specifically Astartes, not your structures. What brings this guy down a little is that it is Astartes. It is all other Astartes, so if you're going for a more Astartes base build, very, very strong, but they've got a lot of structures. So I think he's tapered in by that. Otherwise, a 5 drop five, uh, 4 5 that does that, amazing. 5 drop 3 5, resolution, put in play one sentry turn. It's resolution, happens at the end of your turn. Very good, the sentry turret's nice. If this thing had front line, it'd be very good, but it's a 3 5. Maybe if it was a 3-6 or if it had front line, but otherwise it feels a little bit underpowered. 5 drop 3-6, pay 2 deal 4 damage, meh. This card is great. This is this will be played in basically every deck. 5 drop 2-4, front line, can't attack, rally, put in play 2 sentries. This is amazing. This card's great. Every single deck. Every single deck, basically. Resolution of Stone, give front line until your next turn and bastion forward to a friendly unit cool like it's a unit so you can plug it on your warlord and bastion four is pretty good five drop heal four give front line maybe as a one-off in some decks we'll see we'll see um six drop three three bastion two front line rally put in another one six drop put in two three threes sorry it's a six drop put in two three fives with front line i think that's pretty good that's that's that sounds pretty good to me 6 drop 5 4, Bastion 3, so it's a 6 drop 5 7, Rally, your Warlord heals 3, basically. 6 drop, heal your Warlord for 3, get a 5 7? Yeah, I'll play that, hells yeah. And I also think this card's great. 6 drop 5 5, with Artillery Strike. Deal 2 damage to 3 random enemies, that's Artillery Strike. This is a 6 drop 5 5, so 4 drop you pay for this effect. So 2 extra energy, you're getting a 5 5. I see this being played. Because do you want to play this or do you want to play um, DSATs? I want to play this. Then we go to the biggest of boyists. 7 drop, Bastion 2, 6, 4. So 6, 6 for 7. Pay 3 energy to get plus 2, plus 2 to your troops. That is all troops. Pretty good. But I think at that stage it might be a little bit like, do I really want my 7 drops sitting there and just giving my stuff plus 2, plus 2? And it's a bit expensive as well. So... Maybe. Retribution, destroy a troop, cost one less for each friendly troop in play. I like it, definitely be playing it. Uh, the fact that there's a lot of cards in here, like the f there's a five drop that spawns three troops. You know, you, you play that, this goes down by three energy. Um, this goes becomes a four drop, you can play them on nine. So pretty good there. Uh, first war, front line, can't attack. It's a four ten, put in play. The effect is put in play two sentry turrets. I get it, it's seven drop, it's a front line, and it's hard to kill. If you can give it some bastion, that's great, but... To be honest, I would just prefer to play this. I think this is a better card. The fact that it's rally to get them in. 
to me, I wouldn't want to pay the two extra energy. For, I guess it's it's much beefier. I get that, but I think, meh. Um, eight drop six ten. Resolution heal three to your troops. Resolution. Um, yeah, this card will be played because Bastion Four is great. Um, the eight drop six eight deal three damage to. Yeah, this is this gets me so much. So eight drop six eight. It's already lost two on the attack. It's a legendary. Deal three damage to a random enemy for every other unit you control. This should just be a eight drop eight eight with this effect. Why? Why are you reducing the attack off this thing? This effect is random. It's random. Come on, it's a legendary card. If this was just a um, a, a rare or whatever, yeah, cool. Make drop its attack. You know, but three damage to a random enemy for every other unit you control. Now this isn't. I'm pretty sure the one time I played this, I either got super super weird RNG. Or um, it just like the guy had. I played it in the event. He had two troops on field and his warlord was on four. I had my warlord, this guy, and one. Other, sorry, I had two troops on field. Played this. It dealt three damage to the warlord, then three damage to the warlord and killed him. Now the thing about that is, I'm um, three damage to a random enemy. So it picks one random enemy and it does three damage to them multiple times depending on how many other units you control. Just make it. Why is it not an 8 8? Come on. Like, you've got Malga Hearse, for instance, with 7 drop 8 8 with a cool effect. Like, 8 8. Come on. Otherwise, decent. Now, this card's insane. 8 drop, draw 4, heal to 40 Warlord, refill 4. Late game, it's a 4 energy, draw 4, heal 4. Pretty good. I'll, I rate it. Every deck will play it. Perfect. 9 drop, 7, 10. Frontline, gain Bastion 4. Um, decent. It's kill spell worthy, but otherwise decent. Uh, so there's 10 drop. 10 drop, 8, 12. Cool. Pay 2, deal 6 damage to an enemy and stun it. I mean, if you don't want to just swing and deal 8 damage, being able to stun something is pretty decent. Like, not bad, not bad. Now, for their actual good final car, 10 drop, 3 sentry talents and 2 phalanx wards, which is the 3 drop, 3, 3 front line bastion 2. 10 drop, put in play, 2 3 threes with front line, with Bastion 2 each, and 3 sentry turrets. Good. I think it's a good card. In saying that though, they've really got to flood the board. They have to flood. I think if they don't flood, they're really losing out. Overall, they've got some really nice cards. You know, like this is great. I have loved this card. I love this card. Very, very good. Uh, Phalanx Ward, this guy, very good. Um, Rogal Dawn seems pretty cool. Being able to just give Bastion 2 out is pretty good. Which, when you think about it, is only heal 2. But when Bastion combos with their other effects, it feels good. You know? I just... I don't... I think their Warlords are a little underwhelming. Like, low... In, why is he low? I don't understand why he's low initiative. Come, give me medium. You know? Like, I don't... Like, cool, I put this in, but you can literally compare it to Vulcan. Vulcan is just better in every way. And, of course, not everybody has Vulcan and that sort of stuff. And they can't make every Warlord really strong. But I just... He got shafted. Um, Sigmund... Sigismund, sorry. He's decent, I think. I think he's better than what I think he is. But remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. Yeah. Like... His ability... Until your next turn, deal 2 damage to enemies that attack you. Like... Eh? Eh, like... Rogal Dawn? Mint. Otherwise... Eh. You know? Alright, well this has been my first opinions on it. My opinions might change. I'll definitely tell you guys on stream after I play them a little more. Um, I have started an event. I've got one victory so far. I built this deck. We have three of these... Two of these and two of these, so it's it's quite fun, you know. We've got the the phalanx at the end there, along with this guy. So our, our deck went really well, you know. We didn't even use that many gems. I think I used like a thousand gems in rerolling, which is nothing, you know. So um, I'm gonna be releasing this video, and then maybe tomorrow the event run from one to twelve or whatever we die will be at. Otherwise, guys, have a really good afternoon, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh, wow, wow, wow.